Kawaw Math! In this video, we will recall the concept of adding and subtracting dissimilar fractions. We will also add and subtract rational algebraic expressions with unlike denominators. So first, how do we add and subtract dissimilar fractions? So, i-recall muna natin to para yung process nito pwede nating magamit sa pag-add and subtract ng rational algebraic expressions. So, in uh, adding and subtracting dissimilar fractions, first, we have to find the LCD, solve for the numerator, and then simplify. Let us have an example. So, if I have here 2 over 2 plus 1 over 4, that is equal to, so first, hahanapin muna natin yung LCD, that is 4. And then, 4 divided by 2, ito siya, 4 divided by 2, that is 2, times 2, that is 4. And then, 4 divided by 4, that is 1, times 1, that is 1. Okay? So, 4 plus 1, that is 5 over 4, or simply, if we will try to get its lowest term, we will have 1 and 1 fourth. Okay, or you can make use of this, okay? So, you just have to multiply this to 2 times 4, that is 8. And then this one, so 2 times 4, that is 8. And then 1 times 2, that is 2, okay? And then we will add 8 and 2. So, we will have 8 plus 2 over 8, kung ano to. So, i-add natin to after natin tong ma-multiply. Ito naman, and then ito. So, we will multiply this two. That will be our denominator. And then, yung nakuha natin dito, so, i-add natin yun. That is 8 plus 2. So, we will have 10 over 8. So, kunin natin ang lowest term. That is 1 and 1 fourth. Okay? So, kung mapapansin nyo, yung itsura nito ay it looks like a butterfly. Kaya, ito ang tinatawag nating butterfly method. So, ito yung tinatawag nating butterfly method. Now, kung mapapansin natin, pareho sila ng sagot. So, ibig sabihin, if you're gonna use the LCD or you can make use of the butterfly method, you can still get the same answer. Let's have another. So, again, I have 2 over 2 minus 1 over 6. So, that is, what is the LCD? That is 6. So, 6 divided by 2, that is 3 times 2, that is 6. And then, 6 divided by 6, 1 times 1, that is 1. So, since this is already subtraction, that is 6 minus 1. So, that we will have 5 over 6. Now, since this is already the lowest term, then therefore, 5 over 6 is our final answer. Next, let us use the butterfly method. So, multiply first 2 times 6, that is 12. Multiply 2 times 6, that is 12. 1 times 2, that is 2. And then, we will subtract. So, 12 minus 2, that is 10 over 12. So, we will have, get the lowest term, that is 5 over 6. So, pareho yan. So, again, kaya siya tinawag na butterfly method kasi ganito siya. Okay. Now, how do we add and subtract rational expressions with unlike denominators? So, pag sinabi nating unlike, magkaiba ang denominators natin. Okay? So, kung like denominators sila, mas madali kasi you just have to copy the denominator. Pero, in this case, kapag binigyan kayo ng magkaibang denominators, Ang una natin gagawin is, factor the denominator completely. So, yung fa denominator ng dalawang rational algebraic expressions natin, dapat makuha natin yung factors niya. Okay? And then, after that, we will find the LCD. Next is, we will write the equivalent expression of each rational expression using the LCD. And the last one, tsaka tayo magpo-proceed sa add, and subtract, and then we will keep or copy the LCD. Let's have an example. So, if I have here 5 over 8m squared n raised to 4 plus 2 over 6m cubed n. Okay. So, unang titingnan ay magkaiba ang denominators nila. So, what is our first step? Factor the denominators completely. So, kunin natin yung denominators ng dalawang rational expressions natin. So, yung una, we have 8m squared and raised to 4. And then, 6m cubed n. So, kunin natin yung 
factors nila ay yung denominators and then we will try to factor. So, ito, magiging, this is, uh, this can be written in exponential notation which is 2 cubed or 2 raised to 3. Okay, and then m squared and then n raised to 4. Okay, so later I will explain kung paano kukunin ang LCD kapag unlike denominators tayo. And then for 6, so we have 2 times 3. So, ang Goal natin dito, hahanap tayo ng factors na kung saan merong kapareho dun sa isang denominator mo. So, eto, pwede kong gamitin ng 2 times 3 para merong parehong 2. Okay? And then m cubed and then n. Now, ang gagawin natin pag nakuha mo na yung mga factors niya, kukunin natin yung may pinakamataas na exponent o yung highest degree. So, dito sa 2, pareho silang may 2. So, ang kukunin natin itong 2 raised to 3 kasi ang exponent niya ay 3, ito ay 1 lang. Next, for 3, since wala namang ibang 3, so ito lang. So, 3 raised to 1, okay? And then for m, we will get m raised to 3 kasi mas mataas to. And then for n, we will get n raised to 4, okay? So, in finding the LCD, we will get the highest degree of the exponents. And then, we will uh, simplify. So, we now have 2 cubed. 3, m raised to 3, and n raised to 4. Okay, so let us find the LCD. Let us simplify. So I have here 2 cubed. 2 cubed is 8. And then 3, m raised to 3 times n raised to 4. So let us solve. 8 times 3, that is 24. And then just copy the literal coefficient. So we have m raised to 3, n raised to 4. So therefore, our LCD is 24, m raised to 3, n raised to 4. So, we now have our LCD. Let's proceed to the next step, which is, we will be writing the equivalent fractions of the given rational expressions. Pag sinabing equivalent fractions, ito yung pareho na sila ng denominator. Kasi nakuha na natin yung LCD. So, itong LCD natin, ilalala, ilalagay na natin sila sa denominators nila. Kasi napareho na natin sila. Now, yung sinasabing equivalent fractions, ito yung numerator. Ito ngayon ang hahanapin natin. So, ano na ngayon ang magiging value niya dito since nakuha na natin itong LCD. So, proceed tayo dito. So, ito yan. etong given na to, ito yan. Yung given natin. Okay, yung nakuha nating LCD, lagay natin sa gilid. Now, anong gagawin? So, again ha, copy lang natin to. Okay, so, on first step, pwede ka mag-cancel uh, out, divide. So, we will have 24 divided by 8, that is 3. Okay? Now, why do I have M here? Ulit ha, 24 divided by 8, that is 3. Next, yung M natin, we have 3 minus 2, so ilan na lang, that is 1. So, since kapag ang exponent natin ay 1, hindi na natin yan nilalagay. Now, for our N, we have 4 minus 4, so we will now have N raised to 0. Um, tatandaan na kapag ang exponent natin ay raised to 0 na, that is always equal to 1. So, kahit hindi na natin ilagay si 1 dyan. Okay? Now, so, dito naman tayo. So, we have 5 times 3, that is 15M. So, makukuha na natin siya. So, 5 times 3M, that is 15M. Okay. So, unang gagawin ha, cancel out muna natin. Uh, evaluate natin yung mga exponent ng ating literal coefficient and then, pag nakuha na natin, we will multiply. So, 5 times 3, that is 15m. Ayun na siya. Okay? Dito punta tayo sa susunod. We have 24 divided by 6, that is 4. Okay. So, that is 4. Now, si m natin 3 minus 3, that is m raised to 0, and that is equal to 1. So, no need to write that. Okay? And then, 4 minus 1, this is 1. Okay? So, that's why we have here n raised to 3. So, nakuha natin tong 4 kasi 24 divided by 6, that is 4. And then, makakancel out na to. And then, 4 minus 1, that is n raised to 3. Okay? So, let us simplify now. So, 2 times 4, that is 8 n raised to 3. Okay. So, we now get, got the 
uh, equivalent fractions of these rational expressions. So, ano nang next? We can now add the numerators and then we will just copy their LCD. Okay, so what is our numerator? For the first expression, we have 15M. And then for our second expression, we have 8N cubed. Since hindi natin sila pwedeng i-combine dahil hindi naman sila like terms, di ba? So, this will be our final answer. Now, remember, keep the LCD. So, our LCD is 24M raised to 3 and raised to 4. Right. Let's have the second example. So, I have here 2y over 5x squared plus 3x over 4xy. So, ano nga ulit ang unang step natin? Factor the denominators completely. So, so we will get the denominators. 5x squared and 4xy. So, kunin natin yung kanilang factor. So, for 5x squared, we have 5 times x squared. For 4xy, we have 4 times x times y. Okay, so we will get the highest uh, degree of the exponent. So, kuni, for 5, 5 raised to 1. So, wala namang iba. So, that is 5, 1, 4, 4. And then sa x, kukunin natin yung x squared. And then sa y, yung y raised to 1. Okay, since that is the highest. Okay, so we will now uh, multiply all the factors. So, we will have 5 times 4 times x squared times y. So, find the LCD. Let us simplify. So, that is 20x squared y. So, we now have our LCD. Next is, we will write the equivalent fraction. So, since pareho na sila ng LCD, we have 20x squared y and 20x squared y for our rational expressions. Now, isosolve na natin yung nandito sa numerator. Okay? So, balikan natin yung given. Okay? So, our LCD again is 20x squared y. So, kagaya ng ginawa natin kanina. By the way, eto ha. Etong given na to ay eto lang yan. Yung given natin. Okay? So, gagamitin lang natin siya para makuha natin yung equivalent fractions niya dito. Okay? So, again, cancel. So, 20 divided by 5, that is 4. Okay? Paano natin nakuha tong Y? Kasi etong X squared, makakancel out na yan. And then Y, since wala naman dito, so copy natin si Y. Okay? So, we have 4Y. Now, simplify. 2 times 4, that is 8. And then Y times Y, that is Y squared. So, we will have 8Y squared. Next, 20 divided by 4, that is 5. Ito. And then, yung x natin, 2 minus 1. Since this is 1, di ba? So, that is 1 na lang. Okay? But, no need to write 1 for our exponent. Okay? And then, for our y, this will be cancelled. Okay? So, we now have 5x. So, 3 times 5, that is 15. And then, dalawa yung x natin, we will multiply. So, we will add the exponent. 1 plus 1. So, that is x squared. So, 15x squared. Okay, so let's proceed to the last step. We will add the numerators and keep the LCD. So, 8y squared plus 15x squared. Okay, and then keep the LCD since same naman sila. So, napareho na natin sila. So, 20x squared y. And then, 8y squared plus 15x squared. Okay, hindi natin siya pwedeng i-add kasi hindi sila similar terms. Okay, ito ay y squared, ito ay x squared. So, this will be our final answer. Next, I have 4x over x squared minus 25 minus 5 over x minus 5. So, first, factor the denominators completely. So, we will get x squared minus 25 and x minus 5. So, what are the factors of x squared minus 25? Okay. So, this is an example of uh, difference of 2 squares. Okay. So, kapag nagpa-factor tayo ng difference of 2 squares, magiging sum and difference siya. Okay. So, we now have x plus 5 and x minus 5. And then, for x minus 5, ganun pa rin. Okay. Now, so, kukunin natin yung highest exponent. So, for x plus 5, so, ito siya. And then, for x minus 5, since pareho naman silang raised to 1 lang, so, x minus 5, kuha lang tayo ng isa doon. Okay? So, therefore, we will multiply, or we, we now have x plus 5 times x minus 5. Okay? So, let us get the LCD. So, our LCD is x plus 5 times x minus 5. Okay? Now, 
So, write the equivalent fraction. So, pareho na sila ng denominator. Okay? So, we will have this. Okay, so, ito yung given natin. Okay, our LCD is x plus 5x minus 5. Okay, now, ito ay equivalent, kung babalikan nyo yung uh, previous slide, this is equivalent to x plus 5 and x minus 5, right? So, therefore, makakancel siya. Tama? So, wala nang matitira. So, ibig sabihin, magiging uh, raised to 0 na siya. Tama? Kasi cancel na. And that is equivalent to 1. Okay? No, no need to write 1. Okay? Kasi ganun din naman. Pag nilagay mo pa dyan times 1, ganun pa rin naman ang result nun. Now, for our next given, the denominator, ito na. So, since x minus 5 to, ito ang makakancel. So, may natirang x plus 5. So, yun ang ita times natin kay... 5. So, we now have 5x plus 5 times 5, 25. So, ibig sabihin, we will have 5x plus 25. Okay? So, ito, 4x lang siya kasi wala naman, wala naman tayo dito. Now, we will subtract. Okay. So, subtract the numerators and keep the LCD. So, this is already subtraction ha, kasi minus na tayo dito. Now, remember, na kapag nagsusubtract tayo, nagsuchange tayo ng signs ng ating subtrahen. Yan ang wag na wag kakalimutan. Okay? So, first, change muna natin yung signs ng subtrahen natin. Ito ang subtrahen, yung pangalawa. So, itong 4x, you just have to copy. So, 4x. And then, minus... 5x plus 25. So, ito tayo ha. Ito yung subtrahend natin. Now, we need to change the signs of our subtrahend. So, papalitan muna natin ng signs nito. So, we will have 4x. Copy ulit si 4x yung minuwend. Wala kang gagalawin dyan. Hindi mo yan babaguhin. And then, ito magiging minus 5x and then minus 25. Okay? Remember, nakapag-subtraction ng operations natin. Ang subtrahend natin, papalitan natin lahat ng signs niyan. So, from positive, negative, positive, negative. Now, we can now simplify. So, we can combine 4x and 5x since they are uh, similar terms. So, 4x minus 5x, we have negative x minus 25. Bakit negative x? Kasi negative uh, positive 4 Minus 5, that is negative 1. And hindi na natin need ilagay ang 1 dito. Always remember that. So, therefore, our final answer is negative x minus 25 all over x plus 5 times x minus 5. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell para updated kayo for more video tutorials. This is your guide in learning your math lessons, your Walmart channel.